Right, this is Gundam UK, I still have a cold, and this is the first work in progress for the uh, Master Grade Dual Gundam Assault Shroud. As you can see, I haven't started it yet, <laughs> but here's uh, how we're looking. Quick look at the contents of the box. Manual, obviously. Uh, okay, some interesting colours. Most pale grey. Uh, yep, yep. Most, most shade of blue. Uh, colour scheme for this one I haven't really decided on yet. Um, it might be just uh, several different tones of blue at the moment. That's what the idea I have in my head with the usual uh, L clad metallic inner frame. I do like the blues that they use in this. Uh, not too many runners, which is a good thing. Uh, it shouldn't take me too long to assemble it. We have some dry transfers and some stickers and a foil sheet for the eyes and cameras. Um, we'll see if I end up using them or not. Definitely not the stickers, but might use the foils. I'm not sure. So yeah, um, let's get this all unpacked and start assembling. So I'm about two thirds into uh, building the dual gun dam. Uh, I've done the head and the body, arms and backpack. And I must say, I really, really enjoy how complex the design is. It's got some really nice uh, separation in the armour here. Uh, lots of fine details on the armour parts itself. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do any modification. I might just do it entirely out of the box. We'll see how it goes. So let's... Uh, Let's carry on now with the legs. Right, that's the main bulk of the model done. Just need to do the assault shroud and the weapons, uh, plus any other bits. Um, and I really, really, really love how this kit is put together. It's uh, incredibly sturdy, uh, very flexible in its joints. And um, I just love how this knee does that so cool anyway <laughs> uh, time to carry on and complete the kit I thought for a moment then that I'd have to do uh, loads of seam line removal on the gun but as it turns out the way it's put together means that um, I don't have to do that by the looks of it uh, the only place I've got to do it, I think, is on this uh, missile here, on these lines. And I hope that's not too much work anyway. We'll see how the other guns come together. Got this big cannon thing coming up. Uh, shield. And then of course the assault shroud. In case you're wondering, uh, this is 800 grit sandpaper attached to a lollipop stick. I use that for all flat surfaces. And I just use loose sort of paper for uh, curved edges. And uh, I always keep a bit of fine sandpaper around in case there's any scratches on the plastic. And then I also give it a little um, spray of uh, one part thinner to uh, eight parts water. Um, just to clean up the plastic, just to get rid of any um, sort of excess dust or anything that's left from the sanding. And now I'm just going to assemble this gun. So let's have a look where we in this part here. Attach the handle here. Kind of hoping that I don't have any. Um, oh, just realised I've got to. Up this a bit. 
most of it's internal so I don't have to worry too much about getting this absolutely uh, nub free just make sure it's nice and flat I think that'll do here and then the whole thing comes together hmm okay bit of a seam line we have a seam line here that's going to have to be removed and this Awesomely massive cartridge of sorts goes on there. This goes in here. Oh no, I have to put the other side on. Hmm, that's some more seam line removal <laughs> needed there. So the seam line here, I'm going to have to remove, uh, seam line here and here and on the top here it looks like on these two little cylinder parts here. Bit of work but not too bad, um, I finished it right away. So there we go, all complete. Uh, I've given some thought to a colour scheme and I'm thinking about doing uh, doing it mostly white with some um, different tonal variations just to give it a bit more detail and maybe a bit of pale yellow. So it's going to be very unique, that's for sure. Just need to pick up some decals. The only issue I've had uh, on completion is that I find the assault shroud is a little bit a little bit loose especially the waist this just keeps this literally just falls off um, I will have to look to see how I can fix that um, I'd like to do the whole model uh, separately so that you can uh, you can actually take off the assault shroud and have a fully painted model underneath um, it's going to be quite a big task, I think. I'm actually really impressed with the detail on this kit as well. There's lots of uh, panel lining, and, excuse me, panel lining opportunities, and lots of detailing work to be done. And I'm looking forward to getting started on this. So, so let's take this model apart now and prepare it for painting. And I will show you that in my next video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.